OK, in this video we're going to look at using an Iridium satellite phone with an iPad and making sure that all our settings are correct for that. So the first thing we need to do is go into the settings application. And in here we want to make sure that we've set up our mail settings correctly. You can find exact details on how to set these up on our website. Let's just review these and make sure they've been set correctly. And here we can see the main settings that need to be set. If we have a look in the advanced settings, it's important that the highlighted cells are set as shown. And here in advanced, again, it's important that the highlighted settings are shown as correct. In particular, the iPad has an annoying habit of reverting the settings marked Use SSL. So please keep an eye on these and make sure they're set as shown in the video. OK, the next thing we need to do is make sure we've joined to our Redbox Wi-Fi network. Uh, here I've already clicked into it, but the usual way of joining any normal uh, Wi-Fi network. So make sure that you're selected to that. And now, the red box is acting as a switch, so it controls whether or not we have access through the Iridium network. But we need to tell it that we want to have access to the Iridium. So to do that, we click into our web browser, and in here we go to a kind of virtual website, literally just called Redbox and we need to put a forward slash on the end of it, otherwise it has a tendency to do a Google search for the word rather than actually taking you to that website. So here we are, we've reached our Redbox portal page. This allows us to control the Redbox, and up here at the top we can see that we are not currently connected to the internet. There's several quick ways that we can save access to this page so we can get to it again. Uh, we can go up to the bookmarks bar and we can save a bookmark. Um, and perhaps more interesting for those on iPads and iPhones, up here we've got an option to add to home screen. And this will make a kind of app icon for this web page on your home page. So effectively you have an app that allows you to get in and control the internet settings. OK, so to actually make changes to the current setup, we click on Connect to Internet. And in here on the left hand side you can see all of the internet connections that I've got access to. This particular test box has got quite a lot of internet options set up, but the one that we're interested in using is our Iridium satellite phone. On the right hand side we can see a number of restrictions that allow us to control exactly who gets access to the satellite phone and what access they get. Uh, the main change we're going to make for satellite phones is to choose option 2, and this heavily restricts the internet connection so that the only thing that's allowed in and out is email, and not just that, only the mail sale email. So any other things on the iPad, any automatic updates, any app updates will be totally blocked. Now, the box at the top allows us to make the changes either only for this particular iPad, or we can switch everybody on board to use a different device. I think in the case of satellite phones, it makes most sense to just select individual devices, so that's what I'm going to do here. And finally, I need to choose the Select Internet Connection in order to commit my changes. And up here at the top of the screen we can see it's confirmed that we are now using the Iridium satellite phone and that we've engaged that correct firewall mode too. OK, let's go and switch into the email app and see how to use that. So, fire up your uh, email app on the iPad. And the first thing that we'll notice is when you click into the iPad, it immediately wants to check for new mail. We'll see in a, way there's a, uh, we'll see in a moment there is a way of controlling this, um, but it's interesting to be aware of this. Now in the background we can see the Iridium satellite phone dialing up. It takes a number of seconds to do that. And we're going to listen for a beep. There's our beep and that confirms that the internet connection is now made. The iPad has downloaded the messages that were waiting for us, and the red box will now wait 10 seconds to hang up the telephone and confirm it with another beep. OK, so that double beep there confirms that the Iridium satellite phone has hung up the connection, and we can now read our message if we want. Let's have a look at how to write a new message out. So just like you normally would on the iPad Mail, let's write a, a test message. And I'm going to write it to my demo account.
and all I need to do is hit send. As we can see down the bottom left, the Iridium immediately chooses to try to send this email. Remember, the iPad doesn't know that it's connected via a satellite connection. It believes it's connected via broadband, so it tries to send the message immediately. But it's got no reason to believe that it needs to fetch new messages. We have to show it how to do that. And to do that, we do a pull down from the top of the screen until the spinning icon, and then we release. The double beep confirms we're connected to the internet. Our message is sent. It's now trying to look to see if there's any messages waiting to download. A message has come back to us. So we've managed to test the message out and then back in again. And the connection has now gone idle. So we listen for our double beep. And that confirms the satellite phone is hung up. Now, it may be that we want to send multiple emails and we don't want to send them immediately. There's a number of ways we can do that. I think one of the easiest ways is simply to swipe up from the bottom of the screen. And this shows us that we can turn the Wi-Fi on and off very easily. If you turn the Wi-Fi off, then you can clearly write as many emails as you like, and they will not be able to be sent through the satellite phone. You can open and close the email app, and then when you're ready, turn the Wi-Fi back on again, open the email application and it will immediately send all the messages that are queued and waiting to go. Alternatively, and perhaps now that we're finished, we might want to turn off all internet access to the Iridium. So to do that, just as we did at the beginning, we go back into Safari, we come back to connect to internet, and here if we observe at the bottom we have the option disconnected. And again this allows us to disconnect either this device or all devices on board from that internet connection. We confirm by pressing the dis Disconnect Internet Connection button. And here we see the orange prompt confirms that we now do not have internet access. So the iPad will no longer be able to connect via any means through the Iridium and certainly will not be able to send any emails in and out. That concludes our demonstration. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any other questions, please do have a look at the support website here. And there's a lot more information about the specifics of setting up your email account and also other interesting things that you may wish to do with the iPad and the red box.